Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another video. Uh, this morning, we're getting ready to roll. We just finished our pre-trip. We're at the truck right now. I gotta get some of the snow off the windshield. It snowed over the weekend, annoyingly. Just when you thought all the fun was over. And over to uh, Edison to make our delivery. And then uh, after that, this afternoon, we have an APU repair appointment. Hopefully it's just something quick. Hasn't been working right recently. I've been noticing, so I called Sweet about it. We're gonna get it repaired, so hopefully it all uh, turns out pretty well. Doesn't take too long, but uh, yeah, get ready to start a new week here. Uh, see what the fun brings. We have just arrived to the delivery. Just got backed in over here. Not a bad lot. I had to spin around over here though so I can make a sight side back. There was room enough, so it's all right. Always interesting when you come to these new places. You know, I'd never been to this particular spot before, so looked it up on Google Maps, read the reviews, you know, to find out about wait times and, you know, which entrances to go in or what signs to look out for. It was a good idea, just in case. And uh, so you know what to be prepared for and stuff, so. But uh, yeah, we're here, we just got backed in, and uh, gonna do our uh, unloading. Hopefully we get out of here soon, quickly. We have about a two hour ride to uh, where we gotta go to to get the APU repaired, so that'll be next. It's over in Reading. Not about an hour and change away from like where we live, so we'll see how this pans out. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Just a couple hours in and out get whatever's fixed fixed and then you can keep it hustling but we shall see so anyway we'll check back in with you What's going on y'all so we're at the loves over here uh i think it's Charlottesville. it's off 78 off interstate 78 over here uh, we're about a half hour from our what's that the pen pen power group the place that's fixing my apu i forget what the name of it is pen something group um six dollars and three cents a gallon for diesel fuel right now i don't even pay for fuel in this truck but golly is that high six dollars and three cents a gallon i saw it on the sign coming in six dollars and three cents a gallon i mean i'll pay for the fuel so i don't care all right i understand obviously it's a necessary expense but i don't know to me, I mean, logically, my thoughts go here. I was like, somebody along the line, we're gonna, we're gonna all have to pay for this. Maybe not right here at the pump, but maybe down the line. I feel like this, this is what I mean. These companies are not just gonna absorb. The trucking companies are not going to absorb this, you know, inflation of fuel tax costs, whatever per gallon here. They're just gonna, they're gonna raise their rates up to the broker or the customer. They're not just gonna absorb this. They're just they're just gonna raise their rates. So they're gonna raise the rates to the customers. Guess what? Those customers ain't gonna absorb that rate either. They're gonna raise their rates too. So to me I feel like just the things for example in the grocery store, you know? Things have been outrageous in the grocery store since the whole pandemic and COVID. You know, now that diesel fuels, I mean, even here in Pennsylvania, $6 a gallon. I can't imagine what it's like out west. California is probably even worse. 
that's just me thinking about it logically and just sharing them some some thoughts on that so uh, I don't know I guess we'll all just see how it pans out but I hope the stuff ends soon man it's crazy everything is just crazy yeah. All right, so we have just arrived to uh, the APU repair facility. It's a pen power. I have a uh, carrier APU, and for, unfortunately, not a Thermo King. So we have kind of less availability when it comes to repair facilities. But there was one not too far away. Um, yeah, we just arrived. We had to drop our trailer. And uh, yeah, I put the lock on the back and I put the air, the air line lock on the front of it <clears throat> so nobody can move it around. At least without me knowing about it. I got the lock and key around my neck, so that's good. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna hang out here. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, the girl set up the desk, it'll, it'll be a little bit till they can get us in. Uh, but we're here, we're scheduled, so. It is what it is. I'm gonna go uh, hang out in the driver's lounge for a little bit and uh, get myself a little something to eat and uh, just hang out. So, yep, we'll check back in later once we know more. Wish us luck. Good morning, guys. As you can see, we're not at a truck stop. We're not at the repair shop. We are not even with our trailer at the moment. I'm gonna explain why. Actually, in the process of doing our pre-trip here, uh, as soon as I make a video talking about how sweet never has to do any really serious repairs or anything like that, we're in the midst of what seems to be becoming a serious repair. Uh, as you guys know, I went in for my APU repair, and I'm just going to give a little update on how that was going. Uh, so my truck needed a CCU board for the APU, and basically what was happening was uh, there was the, the generator, the APU generator that stuck on the outside on the frame was working properly and it was running, but I was getting no electricity inside. Classic case of, you know, CCU, CCU board being fried. So yesterday they put a CCU board in the truck um, and all was well, all was happy. They thought they fixed it, everything was great. So. It ended up uh, taking a little bit longer than expected, so I ended up just staying at the repair facility last night and just running, getting a load for yesterday. That was Monday, and so we'll get a load on Tuesday, I'm thinking. Well, ended up not being the case because I fired up the APU, you know, to use it at night, and the voltage went out again. Just fried up the board immediately. So... <laughs> I'm like, well, that's not right. And we, I didn't even get five minutes out of this new board. Mind you, it was like all, over $1,000 to get this thing put in. So what we ended up having to do was I went back in the next day, the next morning, as soon as they opened, and I told what was going on, and then I got with Sweet on it. So there's something else that's going on. To keep a long story short, there's something else that's going on that's just my APU, my truck is just eating up these boards. So there must be a short, a fuse, some kind of maybe a ground issue. I don't really know, but what they had to do was they had to order another board for the truck because this one just got eaten up right away. They're going to install it again and then go from there to further diagnose what the problem is, but they can't go any further with diagnosing without a new board in it. So that's the plan. Sounds a little ridiculous to me personally, but I'm not really that mechanically inclined just know enough to get me in trouble but um so yeah yesterday my options were either get put up in a hotel room uh lift back home or just bobtail back home because the truck still worked fine and the sweetest op or the sweetest option yeah and the cheapest option was to just let them let me bobtail home because i was only about an hour away from the house so here we are so today wednesday <laughs> Going back to the repair facility because the new one's getting delivered today and uh, we'll just hope for better luck today. So once we know more, I'll give you a better update, but that's where we're at. Like game conditioning, you, you know this. Anyway, anyone who's, who's done anything um, in terms of condition, you cannot replicate what game action is like. And so this All way. right, finally update time. So we got the truck back and they seem to have repaired the APU. I know this because they had it running for like an hour before they gave it back to me just to make sure 
uh, what it was well we had to install another board since the new one that they just put in yesterday got eaten up obviously and then I guess what it ended up being was a high voltage relay so my suspicions were correct and it was just something silly like that related but that's all it was and I believe it was covered under warranty so they just had to pay for the uh, Diag which is like a hundred something bucks sweet that is so now we are back at the car we are back at the spot where we park uh, because it ended so late in the afternoon Tim went home already so the suite was just like well if you want to go home you can go home or just stay where you're at and then we'll find a load for you tomorrow morning Tim will find me a load for tomorrow morning so if you forget again if you're giving me the option I'm going home every time and I was only like an hour away or so from the house so here we are uh, just loaded my personal things in the car moved the car out of the way and uh, now I'm gonna back the truck in so yep this week was kind of a wash and it kind of sucks because tomorrow's already Thursday and we only delivered that one load on Monday and that's it. I mean the rest of the days are just going to be breakdown pay but what's going to save me a little time or a little money that is is Sweet's 500 mile rule and if you're unfamiliar with what that is I talked about it in the other video but uh, any any loaded move that you make and the delivery is under 500 miles away you get paid for 500 miles no matter what the mileage is. Again, let me reiterate that. Any loaded move that's under 500 miles, you get paid for 500 miles. So if it's 75 miles, you get paid for 500. If it's 150 miles, you get paid for 500, etc. If it's over 500 miles, you get paid those miles. But if it's under 500, you get paid for 500. So no matter what, the least amount of miles that you'll get paid for is always 500 miles. It's a pretty sweet deal, so that'll save me you know, if I run a couple of loads the rest of the week and get home, but, so we'll see. Um, yeah, nothing planned yet, but it's a nice afternoon. It's like 67 degrees in March. It's starting to feel like springtime a little bit, which is always nice. And uh, yeah, man, that's about it. So we'll check back in tomorrow morning and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, it's the next day. We are at the truck just got here we are waiting to hear back from Tim he's working on load for us right now unfortunately again this week was kind of a wash with our APU repair kind of took a lot longer than any of us anticipated but these things they happen and that's why breakdown pay exists luckily you know again because I'm a regional guy I got I have to get home on Fridays I have other things that happen over the weekends for me on my personal time but Fortunately with sweet um, they have that 500 mile rule so you know any loaded move You know you get paid 500 miles for if it's not 500 miles like I explained yesterday So that's kind of gonna save us a little bit, you know, we'll get some miles. We'll get some pay for the rest of this week and uh, Yeah, that's really about it. I can't really do anything else with it, you know start first next week So next week will be better the next video will be better, but Anyway, we're here now. We're unpacking Get my GoPro stuff together. I'm packing my personal bag, chargers, all that. And uh, we're gonna get a little breakfast. I think today, a little coffee and a yogurt and some fresh fruit down there too. That'll be what I'm having this morning. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, uh, once we learn more, I'll kind of update everybody. So, and then yeah, we'll go from there. But until then, all right, guys, we got our load. We are here at. Uh, some beverage company in Reading, Pennsylvania. We had to drive about an hour to get here, and it's going down to Fredericksburg, Virginia, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's a short run. It's about 200 something miles. We've got to do uh, to direct, to, so it's a same day pickup and delivery. So I just got here. I just stopped. I'm getting ready to go check in, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Here we go. All right, we're checked in, backed in, tandem slid, airlines unhooked. Wasn't too bad. People were saying over the Google Maps that this was kind of tight to back in, which it was. I mean, there was plenty of room, but for some, I could see how it would be an issue. Just had to hug these trailers a little bit tighter than I'd like to, but with a little finessing, we got in here just fine. That was no problem. But, uh, yeah. So, we'll get loaded. They're going to call us when it's done. We're going to pick up our paperwork, and we'll be on our way down to Fredericksburg, Virginia. I'm going to do my trip planning right now, so I'm well ready to go. Got a plan in place for when we deliver, well, for route, how, what we do when we get there, and then, uh, you know, shutting down for tonight somewhere, so. Anyway, yep, so uh, we'll let you guys know what's going on a little later. All right, guys, we have departed the shipper. 
we had to stop and uh, get our load scale. We went over there to the cat scale, got our load weight up, slid our tanners where they need to be, and uh, now we're making our way down to Fredericksburg, Virginia. Should be there in about three hours or so. So again, this is the same day load. Yeah, we're going to drop this off, we're going to pick this up. Well, we already picked it up, but we're going to drop this off same day, go direct, and then uh, Tim's going to find us a load probably tomorrow for another same day or for delivery on Mondays. So we'll be heading back towards the house. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, we'll talk when we get to the receiver. So. Okay, so update time. We made it to our receiver. Uh, did not know this, but the receiver closes its gates and closes down the building at 2 p.m. We arrived uh, just before 6 p.m. after getting stuck in traffic around D.C., shocking, and then on 95 just south of D.C., shocking, right? Uh, so, but there was a note hanging up that said, if you arrive and are trying to make a delivery, please go across the street to our other CVS distribution center. Uh, so, <laughs> I'll include a video, but... this this one-way gate entrance blindside into a very busy you know two-way street uh, it was not easy I put my four ways on and I just took it very slow watched my mirrors and made sure I didn't I didn't go until there was it was clear of traffic and luckily there was railroad tracks uh, just before where I had to uh, enter this driveway and a car a railroad car came by so the gates closed Took advantage of it, got in and got out. Whew, that was uh, scary, you know. That's like the worst case scenario where you have no choice but to back out onto a street like that. And uh, it's uh, very scary. Uh, there's no good way to do it. Get help if you can get help. Or, you know, just, I, I don't know. I, I got it done today, luckily. But there's a lot of good chances, you know, for some bad accidents and things like that to happen, you know. Goodness forbid, you know, any of that happens to you guys, but lucked out today, got out of there, uh, went across the street, and I attempted to make my delivery. I went into security to check in, and the girl, she was like, oh, this is a beverage flow. I said, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, and she goes, yeah, you, it probably is going to go across the street, but I'll look up your delivery number for you uh, just to see what's going on, just to be sure. So she looks it up. Uh, at some point today, my appointment time changed. Uh, it was supposed to be a direct, like we talked about earlier, from the shipper to the receiver today, delivered today. Now, it has changed to 3.22 next Tuesday at 10.30 a.m. It is Thursday. I am not sitting in Virginia until Tuesday to deliver this. So... I went back and forth with Tim a little bit. Apparently, yes, it did change. Uh, that would have been great to know. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna figure something out. We might have to relay this load. I might bring it back home, drop it, and somebody else in Pennsylvania might come pick it up and reattempt the delivery on Tuesday. We're not really sure. I caught him just as he was leaving the office, so it's a little up in the air at this point. So what I did was I came to the closest rest area nearest the delivery because there was no parking anywhere near where I was going to be at. This is the closest place. I'm on 95 northbound. I had to go about 20 miles up, but that's all right. And uh, yeah, so now we're parked here for the night. Uh, it's a good it's a good spot. There's like 50 something spots, but because of where it is, uh, it was like almost full already. Luckily, I got a spot here, but yeah, so that's the latest and greatest update. I mean goes without saying but in trucking man it's just there's so many moving parts and variables and sometimes you get stuck in a situation like this so you just gotta kind of work through it there's no other way to go about dealing with it you just gotta kind of work through it slowly and uh, yeah man that's about it so we're here we're parked we just did our post trip 
I'm gonna change myself to the sleeper berth. Boom. Start our 10 hour break and uh, wait for Tim to get into the office tomorrow morning and then wait for further instructions. So that'll do it for today. Um, yeah, so we'll check back in tomorrow morning. Um, maybe when we get up or maybe when we learn what's going on and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So till then, be good. Good morning, everybody. It's about nine o'clock a.m. the next day and a little update time. Tim, our dispatch manager, uh, wants us to try to attempt to make this delivery again, even though it's showing that we can't deliver until Tuesday the 22nd, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head down and try to make our delivery for today. We're gonna attempt to try to make our delivery for today, but if we can't, we can't, uh, then we're gonna have to make other arrangements for it. Um, either like a cross stock situation and somebody else is gonna have to get it or some kind of relay, I don't know, we're not really sure yet. Um, but we're gonna try and tempt this thing first and then go from there. So anyway, cross your fingers, wish us luck. But in this industry, hope for the hope for the best, but anticipate the worst. That's what I've come to learn. Well, finally some good news. I guess somebody somewhere finessed somebody and uh, got our appointment time changed again, which was supposed to be Tuesday to today again. So luckily we got checked in, got a door and we just got backed in here. So. Um, just thankful, man. What a roller coaster ride this has been, man. It, it's things are constantly changing out here for better or for worse. So you got to be on your toes. And like I said in the last clip, man, just <laughs> hope for the best, but anticipate the worst. But there's just so many variables and moving parts. It's just so crazy out here. So anyway, we're about to start getting unloaded here. I got my uh, little timer going so I can show my 30 minutes on the clock legally and um yeah we'll just see what the rest of the day has for us i mean it's already quarter after 10 so i don't, I don't know what's going to happen the rest of today but it's friday it's payday we're getting unloaded when we thought that we weren't going to be and that's that's about it so what else can you say all right y'all we just got emptied we are heading out of there we were only there about an hour so that's pretty good just got checked out we are now leaving cvs and uh headed up towards baltimore for our next load i don't know the details yet tim's gonna call me yet but i'm gonna start heading that way so save as much clock and day as possible so yeah when we find out more we'll let you know so far so good today let's hope it stays that way y'all we have arrived in baltimore to our next pickup that's where we're at down in the docks over here locust point uh picking up a load it's supposed to be same day but i don't know if we're gonna make it in time for the close because the business we're supposed to be going to is gonna be closing at four o'clock and it's already 1 30. i just i don't see it happening honestly so we'll see what happens i gotta go check in and then we'll uh, go from there all right y'all we have made it to our dock it's like a weird, I don't know if you can see it, kind of like an outside dock thing. Um, and no doors or nothing. They're like, yeah, just pick any do any door you want. Doors. They're just basically loading docks. At this building too over here. So here we are. My man over here, he's about to pull in too. But we had to scale in over here. But it was like a manual kind of thing. What I mean by that is you had to go up on there set your brakes jump out and then push in this special code over here that they give you when you check in to like set your empty weights and then i guess you have to go around come around the building and scale out for your full weights um so yeah that's one thing we gotta do when we check out of here it's kind of a maze around all these buildings and that but kind of figured it out the lady there helpful gave us directions you know when we got in there but We'll see what happens. It's a gorgeous day out here, dude. Down in Baltimore, 72 degrees. Wow, I got the windows down, t-shirt on. Feels great. Out here, you know, get a little light, a little sunlight on my pasty, fair-skinned arms. But uh, yeah, hopefully this load don't take too long. Got a same-day delivery. We're going over to uh, 
Lion Station, it's called. It's like outside of like Kutztown Reading area over there. I don't know if it's like, Ing I guess it's ingots. I don't know if you can see them over there along the wall by that guy's truck. We got some ingots that are going in. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be dropping them off. So we'll see what happens with all that. Anyway, we'll talk to you. All right, real quick while we're getting loaded. I mean, y'all probably have noticed this a thousand times already, but I'm a pretty big Steelers fan. Uh, somebody messed up my towel. I had it hanging from these like hooks up here and somebody broke this one and when I was getting my APU repair done I know that because this used to be on there like that it was like adhesive stuck on there so I have to get another one I got it at my home but I just keep forgetting so it's kind of just hanging like this to the side anyway my point is that my man's down here in Baltimore if anybody's an NFL fan we know that the Ravens play in our division and they are from Baltimore. These dudes down here on the loading dock got the trap music playing off the forklift. I can hear it slightly every time they go in and out. Hold on, let's see if we can hear it. He went away, he backed out of it. He's going wherever he's going to see if get some more ingots, but. It was like loud as hell, and I heard it. I'm like, yo, my man do not play. He's chilling on a Friday. <laughs> I don't know where he went, though. God damn it. As soon as I say something, I start talking about it, they go away. All right, here we go. Here we go. I hope y'all can hear that like I can hear that. Oh man, that's wild. Big chilling down here in Baltimore. Anyway, we'll catch back up with y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, here we go. We are now scaling back out. I just pulled out over there where that pumpkin trailer is backing into. Instead of going all the way around the building, figure eight, I figured I'd just back right on the scale. I said YOLO. Oh, time for all this reindeer game. So now we're gonna scale back out, go across the street where we checked in, get our paperwork, and be out. So that's our plan. Hopefully we make it. We'll talk to you later. Welcome to Pennsylvania. All right, guys, we made it to our delivery here in uh, Fleetwood, Pennsylvania, just outside of Reading in the Kutztown area, right actually near kind of where we got our truck repaired at, our APU repaired. But um, yeah, we're here, we're actively getting offloaded now. I just had to help the guy uh, pull the boards up off the floor. The uh, ingots, the, which what we were hauling was uh, nailed to the floor. So uh, I just helped him do that. And uh, now we're actively getting offloaded. And uh, yeah. So from here, we gotta go back home. Stop, here to go home. I have my uh, truck truck parking address in one in half there. mile turn left on south there kemp street go. now we're in 15 minutes away so yeah as soon as we get offloaded i gotta go back and scale out and then uh we're heading to, we're headed home we're done for the weekend that's it so i think that'll about do it for this video like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing drop a comment down below see, tell me what you'd like to see more of or if you have any answers or any answers any questions about sweet uh, I also just made an entire video um, about Sweet, my eighth month review of Sweet, some company information, and uh, what day to day is like. Um, also, you can check out my other videos of my day to day if you want to see what it's like working for this company. But yep, that'll about do it. So uh, yeah, man, everybody be be good, be safe traveling if you're a driver. If you're watching, give me a like, thumbs up, whatever you prefer. And I uh, will talk to you guys at the next video.